sometimes when you're trying to incorporate images into your course and you're looking for current events images or other kind of timely images, you may find that these aren't really available on Google or Flickr. So, um, but there, there are some options. So Getty Images actually has a policy that allows images to be used and embedded. So not downloaded, you can't download the image and upload it into your course, but you can embed an image uh, from Getty into your course. And so this will show you how to do that. So if you go to Getty Images uh, slash embed, you can read a little bit more about it, or you can just um, kind of type something. So let's type immigration. The president gave a speech yesterday. So let's see if we can find that. All right, so um, it looks like we have immigration group celebrate in front of somewhere, Lafayette Square, looks like. Um, ah, there we go. So President Obama delivers remarks on executive action. So something like this, you may not be able to find um, for free use, but you can actually embed this image. So what you want to look for is the icon that looks like this. So click on embed this image and we have some code right here. It's a lot of code, probably best to just um, command or control A to select all of it so that you don't have to like scroll down and get all of it. And then um, control C to copy or you can actually right click to copy. Now from here you have HTML and you can use this in a number of uh, context you can use it in Storyline or Captivate um, but and you can actually just use it on a web page that you create but what we're gonna do is go to build content we're gonna use it in Blackboard so we're gonna embed it in Blackboard I'm gonna go to build content create item and from here uh, sometimes when you just uh, come straight into one of these content items you'll see the editor will have the sort of sh abbreviated version of your your features. But what you would do is just click this arrow. And then from there, you're going to click on HTML and a screen will pop up. Now, sometimes the screen will pop up in weird places or this window will pop up in weird places on your screen. It might pop up really small like that. Um, but you know, you just have to drag it to where you can see it and make it big so you have enough room to work with. So I'm going to right click and paste see all that code there update and we see some yellow stuff appears don't worry that you can't see it here that's fine and I'm gonna type Obama speech and then submit all right and so we can scroll down and see that that image is there uh, and, you know, it is complete with the link to Getty, which is nice. Uh, students want some context. So that's another way that you can use images. And again, you can't download these images and upload them because, of course, Getty makes a lot of money by selling them. But you can embed them. And that actually is a really fantastic thing. Now, if for some reason you can't embed this image, you also have the option to link to it. So we see the link right here, gty.im slash that number. And you can even actually just click on the picture and get to another page where you actually have the link. And this is a link that you can share with people. Um, and you know, like they can come see the image on the Getty website. And then the other thing you could do is if you hover over this share this image icon, you get some options. And those options are you can share on Facebook or Twitter or Tumblr. So there's some other sharing options for you if you're unable to embed it for some reason. Um, so lots of different options.